Hey everybody, we're going to give you guys the quick and dirty adjustment guide for the Mira 2. This is a Mira 2 refurbished by Office Logix and it has a uh, Office Logix Mira 2 headdress. If you want to check that out, you guys feel free to find it on our website. But we're going to show you primarily how to use the Mira 2. To start to get the height correctly set up for the chair, you want to have your feet flat and your legs at a 90 degree angle without being sloping and your back completely flat on the, the back of the chair. As you can see here, now my legs are at a 90 degree angle and my feet are completely flat on the floor. So now we're going to take the tilt lock off, put it all the way back. This is the tilt lock. And then after we do that, we're going to make sure that the tension for the back is properly adjusted. And you're going to know that it's improper if you know two things. First, if I sit and I completely fly back, that means my weight to the tension is too high. I have, my weight is too high compared to the tension and I need to increase the tension so that I don't fly back. And if I want to be able to balance back and forth comfortably, then that's what I need to do. So. To increase the tension, you turn this big knob forward towards the plus sign. And then test it in, every, incrementally every once in a while to see that you're not flying backwards completely and you're also being able to relatively recline without muscling the chair backwards. You should be able to use your own weight. So if this is a good tension for myself, I'll keep it there. Now the flip side is if you're a very low weight, under 160 pounds or below, you're going to feel like even if the tilt lock is off, the back is still locked because the tension is too high relative to your weight. Therefore, you need to decrease the tension. So spin backwards many times, maybe all the way back until you're able to actually do one of these lean back functions with your weight only and without having the muscle backwards. It's going to be a weight dependent issue to get that perfect balance. Next, you're going to want to adjust the tilt lock and that's going to be dependent on where you are and what you are doing. If I am working right now in a completely serious mode in a meeting, I probably might want to put it all the way at the 90 degrees, so all the way forward. Now my chair is locked and I can't lean back beyond the 90 degree angle. The next one after that is about 110 and then there's another click after that, 120 and then all the way back. So you have four different degrees of locking for the tilt lock. After that, I would probably want to adjust the flex front if you have it in the fully loaded Mira 2. And the flex front is for people that may have bigger thighs or smaller thighs, and it's a way to adjust the seat depth of the chair. So if you have it on the Mira 2, you will grab the front upper lip mechanism and you'll push all the way down or anywhere in between. And once you get it to the right depth, you will let go and it will automatically lock in place. That might be a situation if I don't want too much support and it's pinching the back of my legs, or if I'm actually leaning forward. If I'm leaning forward, then this upper lip might become a problem and then I will have to probably curl it downwards. Now, if I'm shorter, I'll probably want more support and then flip it up. We will now engage the forward tilt and then show you how to use that. To engage the forward tilt to the best of its ability, you want to put it, the chair at the highest height. After you have it at the highest height, you will lean back, making sure that the tilt lock's unlocked. While leaning back, flip the forward tilt forward, then lean forward. You'll notice that the chair leans forward considerably, and for some people, now my legs might be at a pinching angle to the front edge of the seat. At that point, you may want to re-engage the flex front in a downward position. So now my legs are free of being pinched at an angle. To disengage, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to lean back again and then flip the forward tilt lever up 
while I'm leaning back. Now the chair is back at the normal horizontal plane. Lastly, the arm pads, which are 4D. They slide vertically, front and back, in case you're too close to the desk and you want to push the arm pads back away from the desk. And then you also have pivoting arms. And there is a horizontal sliding mechanism that people don't know about. So these are one of the most versatile arms in the market. They have true 4D arms and they also pivot at the same time. While some chairs, they'll have 4D arms sliding, but they might not have the pivot. This has the pivoting arms and the sliding arms in all directions as well. So it's a great feature. To adjust the height of the arms, you simply unlatch on the sides and then move them up and down on the rims. And then lock at the height that you want. Finally, you have the adjustable lumbar. You adjust it to the height that you would like and then accordingly tighten depending on how much pressure you want through the back. That's our full tutorial for the adjustment of the mirror tube. Thank you.